lovely learners. Today I have another Usborne book and today it is the Lift the Flap Very First Questions and Answers book. It is also part of a series or just has more books in this type of category. I should say this one is What is the Moon? This is one of the newer books in this category and it's a fun book. It's suggested for two-year-olds and older. I have a four-year-old and she loved this book. And especially who doesn't love to lift the flaps? <laughs> and then you have questions and answers answered about the moon, which is great because it provides just enough information for someone who's younger and gives the chance to interact with the book with the lift the flaps. And it talks in languages that they can understand, but also giving some information that they haven't heard yet. So let's dig inside the book. As you see, every page has lift the flaps, uh, flaps to lift, I should say. And they're fun. I, even my nine-year-old likes to, to lift the flaps when I read. They like to take turns. And it's asking what the moon is, what, what's, what is the moon? <laughs> you know, is it a face, frog, or rabbit? Then you talk, that talks about the shapes of the moon in a language that they can understand or shapes that they can understand, circles, bananas. But then when you lift the flaps, it gives the, the name of the actual moon. So full moon and so on, as you can see. And if you keep going on, continuing on, there's what is it made out of? How does it shine? And of course, the answer is inside the flap. And it talks about who has been on the moon, if anyone. There's a little introduction, nothing too long and boring. What's it like on the moon, if you were on there? It has a little bit of information on the outside of the flap. And then you, when you go inside the flap, it gives a little bit more to finish the sentence. And then, of course, at the end... More imagination and creativity for what if a girl wanted to go on the moon, what would she need? And then it has her, what she needs and what she plans on doing. And it's funny because this is something that little kids can probably do on their own, where they have their creative imaginations with their boxes and things, walkie-talkies or anything else that they can use to pretend that they're actually going to the moon. This is a very fun book, and like I said, my four-year-old loves it, and it's informative just enough for this younger age group, but it is two plus, so if you have a two-year-old, this is perfect as well to get them to introduce them a little bit of science. And if you like this book or any other husband books, please check out the link below, and please subscribe to this channel for more book video reviews. Until next time, happy learning! Bye.